So I've been thinking a lot about what I wanted to share today. And in a client conversation this week, um, something struck me that I don't think I've really talked about. And it's around the way that we speak to ourselves, right? The way we speak to ourselves, the way we think about ourselves, the words we use to describe ourselves, the thoughts we have about our worth, our worthiness, or lack thereof, um, and our, all of the things that we say to ourselves, right? And I've been thinking a lot about the fact that one of the most profound lessons that I've learned over this last decade is the lesson around self-love, like true care for, passion for, desire to be around, like love of self. And that love encompasses not just all of the great qualities about me, but the things that I don't always like about myself, the things that I find to be my flaws, like this love encompasses all of that. Um, but a big piece of this journey um, in getting to this place has been the practice of speaking life over myself, of changing the ways in which I think about myself, about my body, about my experiences, about the life that I've lived, um, and really transitioning from using negative self-talk and negative um, self-thought, right, to becoming really positive in the way that I think about myself and talk about myself. And here's the thing, I don't always believe it, right? Like there are moments when I engage a practice of affirmation where I struggle with believing the words that I'm saying about myself. But time and time again, I've learned that the more that I practice those things, the more that I say those things, the more true that they become. I don't know how that works. Um, so I was talking to someone this week and they were talking about being in disbelief about how people thought about them. And these were positive things that people thought about them. And it got me thinking a lot about the fact that some of us, many of us, self-included, um, will be quick or are quick to believe the worst about ourselves. We're quick to believe that we are unlovable. We're quick to believe that we're not worthy. We're quick to believe that one experience or a couple of experiences of being brokenhearted are the defining experiences of our worth. And the reality is, is that's not true, right? Like you are first and foremost beloved, and this is from my faith tradition, this is from me being a Christian, but you are first and foremost beloved because God created you and said so. There is nothing more you have to do. There is nothing that you can do to impact the level of love and desire and adoration that God has for you, right? And when I start to lean into that, even as it's nonsensical to me sometimes, but when I start to lean into that and trust that, I feel like it literally alters the way that I think about myself, the way that I think about others, and ultimately for me, the way that I think about God. But I think a, a big piece that I know that I am leaving behind in 2019 is around the thoughts and the words that I have to say about myself, right? Things that I would never say to someone else, things that God would never say to me or about me. Um, but to start the process and the practice of speaking life over myself, of speaking life over every aspect of my identity, of affirming my body, of affirming my mindset, of using positive words to describe this amazing creation, right? That God saw fit to place into the universe in this place, in this time, in this space. Um, and I just, I want that for you as well, right? I want you to practice saying words like, I am loved, I am worthy, I am beautiful, I am gifted, I am kind, I am smart, I am funny, right? All of the things that describe who you are. And I know that those things are in you because God created you and you are made in the image of the divine. You carry a piece of the divine. So my prayer for you, my hope for you this Self-Love Sunday is that you engage the practice of speaking life over yourself and that even if you don't believe it, that I believe it about you, that God believes it about you, that you are enough just as you are. I love you.